today I'm here to do another Walking Dead video. And today I'm here to talk about Will Daryl join Joe Group? This was a video request that was sent to me in my inbox. So let's get off into this video. The question is, hell no. And excuse me for my bad language. If I say any cuss words, they will offend you in this video. Please forgive me, because I will say a few. But hell no, Daryl is not gonna join no join no Joe. No way possible. Right now, he's just following Joe in his group. But that don't mean he's gonna he's gonna follow him. He's, he's gonna be in that group. Because because when it all boils down to it, and he find and he sees Rick and the rest of the group members, who do you think he's gonna choose? He's gonna choose Rick. He consider Rick as his family. He made this clear in season three. When when they was talking to, when Rick was talking about looking for looking for Michonne and Murrow after they left the prison, after Murrow took her from the prison. And Daryl stops him and says, No, I'll go look for Murrow. Plus, you can't hunt for shit. And then he got and then he also says that uh he says, stay here just in case the governor tries to attack. And then he says, your family too. So what that tells you, he has the same equal love for Rick as he has for his own blood, well, as he had for his own blood brother. So ain't no one in the world, he's going to, he's going to choose these guys over Rick and the rest of the group, and the rest of that group members. No. Plus, he don't even know them that good. He just met them. And Daryl is not stupid. He's far from stupid. He, don't, he probably don't even trust them right now. He's just following them. And one reason why I think he might be following them, because, hey, Daryl is probably playing detective right now. He's probably looking for some type of clue to where Biff could possibly be at. Like I, like I just said, he could, be look, he could be looking for some clues. In the back of his head, he could be doing it, looking for some type of clues of what, what Beth is at, or looking for her in general. He's just following them right now. That don't mean shit. Also, to mention, when you talk about Joe, the leader of the bandits, marauders, uh, uh, plunderers, crooks, when you talk about a person like that, you talk about somebody who pretty much manip um, uh, manipulate other people. Because I'm pretty sure all those people in his group, he have someone's, he has some somewhat influenced them, manipulated them, and, and got them thinking different. Also, I'm pretty sure that Joe and his group is not far from being sociopath. When you talk about sociopath, sometimes the environment the human is living in tends to well tends to change their character, and sometimes it will cause them to lose their humanity and, and and also make them forget make them forget about morality and sometimes it will turn them into sociopaths the environment that they live in and as you can tell what they're living in a zombie apocalypse so like I say that environment alone has changed them I'm not saying every man in that group is bad but hell, I mean, they're rolling with Joe and they're doing all his deeds. And, and I'm not saying just because you roll with somebody and, 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 and you uh, do all their dirty deeds that you're evil necessarily. No, I would say more of some people, some people just choose to follow artists because they're scared of that person and what that person could do to them because they have other group members that is, that is willing to do their dirty deeds. But still, overall, something tell me that most of these guys in his group are sociopaths, and they, and they allow the environment to change them. Also, Lynn, a very a very great um example. Lynn, when they was in the woods, and he was talking to Daryl, he was talking about he was talking about sleeping with children, raping children, his pedophile ass, and you and you and you see Daryl pull out a knife. That pretty much tell you that these guys are not right, and also. Joe, also Daryl will be the downfall of Joe, point blank period, because Joe is going to make a big mistake. At this point, he sees Daryl as a very as as a valuable absent, absent, absent. But here's the problem: 
what he don't realize is Daryl is a man of dignity, a man of honor, a man who has his morals, a man who has his humanity. And you cannot take that away from Daryl. Those people, those people in Joe group, they don't have that. And that's the reason why, and that's the reason why I don't think they really question his authority. They just listen to what he tell them to do. And like I say, that group is dangerous. And Daryl was not with that. And Daryl was not scared to speak his mind. So he will question Joe's authority. He's going to do it. And Joe is not going to like that. And I guarantee you, at the end, Joe will regret for not killing Daryl. Well, well, for not killing Daryl when he had the chance to. He's going to regret it because Daryl will be his downfall. Like I say, he's seeing Daryl as this valuable asset, asset, asset because he he see, see how talented Daryl is, and plus Daryl has that demeanor that that demeanor to him, and and his presentation kind of comes out as a badass. He Joe sees that and he likes that. That's the reason why he that's the reason why he was smiling when he was looking at Daryl. He even allowed Daryl Daryl to punch him. And bust his nose, but still, it's going, it's going, it's going to hurt him. In, it's going to hurt him in, in the long run. Also, also to add, oh yeah, oh back, back to the to the Daryl having his morality, his humanity type of stuff. Like I say, it's going, to, it's going. To, that's, how, that's how it's going to play out. That's how it's going to happen. And like I say, Daryl is a man. He can't stand, and I know something about that. He can't stand fucking pedophiles. He 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 absolutely hate them. I wouldn't say he hate them, but he can't stand them. And Lynn made himself known what he is. So when he get a hold to Lynn, I'm not saying this episode he will get a hold to him. We do see him with a knife, but I'm not saying he gonna kill him. They probably just did that to add some type of suspense to the promo and have people out there just see what saying. Oh man, they're about to kill Lynn. That might not happen. But he will get Lynn in the end. And trust, when I say he going to get Lynn, he going to probably, uh, I think this going to probably be a personal kill from the heart. Just like he did Mitch. you never seen Daryl. I have never, well, we have never seen Daryl use, use his crossbow to kill another human being. It, it has never happened until episode 8 had came on and he had shot Mitch he shot Mitch in the chest with his bow and arrow I have never that's my first time seeing Daryl actually shoot a human being with his crossbow and kill him so yeah in the end he's going to choose Rick over them there ain't no will Daryl join them hell no Daryl won't join them the man don't have the man don't have no dignity about themselves like I say, these men are probably fucking sociopaths. So, uh, and like I say, Joe can't even control his own fucking people in his group. So, he ain't no better than them. He allowing them to do this. And then he also tells Daryl, why hurt yourself when you can hurt others? When he told Daryl that I know Daryl just listened to him and just took it all in. But he was quiet, though, but he was being smart about it. He was like, okay, when he said that, I knew something. I know something ain't right with him when he said something like that. Then this motherfucker got his own ideologies in the promo. He said something about listening to the rules and some type of shit like that. What type of idea, um, ideology is that to teach, to teach somebody? You know he ain't right. So this is right here was my Bill Daryl John Joe group. No, he won't. I'm sorry to tell you. If you're looking for it, don't be looking for that because it ain't going to happen. Me and John and pedophiles and rapists and murderers and people who choke out the young people. Remember, remember if you like this video, thumbs up, thumbs up the video. Uh, leave a comment down below. I just don't see them joining them. Have a nice day. God bless you all. Peace and love you.